Hi everybody. Uh, today I'm gonna try to do some advanced yoga. I, I think I, I started my day not so well. I had a very bad headache. Well, I wouldn't say very bad, but it was not a very bad headache, but it went away. So I feel stronger now. I think I should be able to do some um, advanced level yoga. All right, let's get started in standing pose. Breathe in, back bend, breathe out. <sighs> Forward fold, step or hop back, up dog, down dog, right leg up, right leg forward, lift with roll and left leg means right leg, forward fold, step or hop back, up dog, down dog. Left leg up. Left leg forward. Lift your low lunge. Right leg meets left leg. Forward fold. Why in the middle of the my video it becomes like 2.5x. I'm gonna go back to 1x, right? All right, step or hop back. Up dog, down dog. Right leg up, right leg forward, outside of your hand. Bringing you to low lunge. Let's get that hip a little open. And then if it works for you, put your arms under your thighs to come to an arm balance. And if you don't want to do arm balance, stay in lizard lunge. Either rock your body or come recline. From here, move your leg to the middle and come to half Hanumanasana. And then from half Hanumanasana, we're gonna go to full Hanumanasana. Come out gently, come to down dog, left leg up, left leg forward, come to um, lizard lunge, I'm gonna just start doing yoga, come on yoga where are you? I'm in lizard lunge. Stay here or rock your body back and forth or join me in arm balance. As you remember, placing our arm right underneath my, um, what is that, thigh would help. I don't know how I keep injuring myself. Anyway, and then come to an arm balance. We don't want to try arm balance. Stay in lizard lunge. Lizard lunge. Stay here. You can move your body back and forth as well. And recline. This is nice. From here, bring your leg somewhere in the middle to come to half an manasana. And then maybe you can come to full manasana. And then come out. Come to 
all fours. We do cat cow. Breathe in. Cat. Breathe out. Cow. Breathe in. Cat. Breathe out. Cow. Cat. Cow. Alright. We are gonna try to go to dolphin. From dolphin, we'll try to come to pinch marasana. And then today, maybe from pinch marasana, uh, we are gonna we can use wall and we'll see like maybe try to curl your body in. I'll show you guys what I mean. If you don't know the name of it, but then what's in the name? So this is dolphin, stay in dolphin. Now squeeze your arms, sorry, squeeze your palms. Look forward, get out of your shoulder. Hold your tummy tightly, your core tightly. Breathe in and lift. Okay, now I'm gonna try to even hit the wall, which is fine. And then try to get out of the wall. I'm going to give a couple of minutes if you want to try that. Come to down dog. Right leg up. Right leg forward. Come to a gentle rotation or twist. And come to a prayer twist also. Or a uh, mind. Come face forward. Come to warrior one. Warrior two. Actually, reverse your warrior. Then side angle. In side angle, come to half bind. Or a full bind. And then come to plank. Down dog. Left leg up. Left leg forward. Come to an easy twist. To a prayer twist. To a bind. Come face forward, come to warrior one. Warrior two, reverse your warrior. Side angle. Uh, actually, bound side angle. And then full bind if you want. Just any movements that are happening right now. Down dog, right leg up, right leg forward, come to again an easy twist, to prayer twist, uh, you can do a bind or stain prayer twist or join me in an arm balance. I'm trying to situate myself in this going to be good. Right. So from the um, side twist, you can get to this. I can maybe show in an easier way. There's no space here, so it's hard to show. But even if you are in a low lunge, you can place your arms to face your side and basically your upper arm is going to carry the weight of the side of this thigh. That's how you're placing it and then that will give you a lift. Alright, so I wanted to show that. We're going to add half an asana 
and then take it to full hand one asana. Down up, left leg up, left leg forward, and from here, actually stay in high lunge. Come to an easy twist, do a prayer twist. You can do a bind, or you can join me straight in arm balance. As you can see, I'm trying to balance the side of my thigh on top of my arm and lifting my legs. Nice. Now coming to half Hanumanasana and from here full Hanumanasana. While we are on the floor, we are going to try doing firefly. If you do not want to do firefly, your option is to come to boat pose and stay in boat. If you get bored in boat, you can let your arms go, legs straight and then you can hover and lift. Do a 10 round. But otherwise, if you want to do firefly, you can come to a figure four like this then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the um, this foot on my upper arm and then straighten my leg so again your side body has to align with all of that this is turning out to be That was firefly. Didn't seem so easy. I think it used to be easier. But oh well. You know your body changes every day. Alright. Uh, for other side, if you were doing um, boat pose, come out of boat and come to bound angle pose and recline. Right? But if you want to do firefly on the other side, let's do that. We did it on this side, so I'm going to do it on the other side. Alright. I think this side was a bit easier for me. Alright, that was firefly. Um, people who are doing Balakanasana, maybe you can straighten your legs and come to staff pose and fold, fold in staff pose. Nice. Um, come on your back. We're going to squeeze the block for a little bit, maybe twice and then do donkey kicks uh, against the wall, squeeze the block, and lift your hips. Squeeze it really hard. As usual, try to feel your outer thighs and your hip muscle. Please squeeze harder, harder than you can think. Nice, we'll do one more time. Squeeze the block, squeeze it, weight up your outer thigh, your hip muscle, your hip flexors. Nice. Alright. Now 
Okay, let's just do some donkey kicks. Donkey kicks is like you basically kick your heel on your ass. some more donkey kick. Let's work our wrist a little. Let's come to all fours. Reverse your palms. Don't put too much weight, just a little bit weight, just enough to feel a little bit of weight actually. Straighten your palms. Rotate your palm on the inside. Nice. All right, that's very cool. Now we are going to go back to down dog. Let's put our palm in the middle and take our hand to hold our shins. I really am not good at this pose. I already told you I'm not. I'm gonna try to still keep some balance. Some balance happened. Now I'm gonna do other side, right hand in the middle, and hold this shin, and try to get a lift. And hopefully it don't fall. The little balance I got is by looking at a point which is not moving. All right, come to plank. Right leg on right arm, right leg on nose, right leg on left arm. Go back to down dog, plank. Left leg on left arm, left leg on nose, left leg on right arm. And then maybe take it out. And then if you want to make it a little advanced, uh, this is one fun way to do it. All right, I'm gonna try to do it on the other side. Right leg on right arm, right leg on nose, right leg on left arm. And you know, all advanced poses has this non advanced move, so you can just stay here. Or if you want to try the advanced move, you can try it like this. Nice. Come to plank. Down dog. Jump forward to come to almost like a frog pose. Actually, my last one. We are gonna, going to try to come to crow pose for a little bit and then in crow we're gonna stay here for a little bit as well and then hop to plank. Let's try that. And then up dog. It's not necessary, necessary to shoot your leg. And just come to plank and then down dog. Right leg up, right leg forward, then face the front. Leading with your chest. Fold forward. Let your head hang. Just 
is nice. Let's take it to a transverse split. Come on one toe, come on the second toe, come on both toes. All right, come on. One more time. We're gonna come to goddess. Come on, our toes. Nice. Actually, you can land your toes or land your heels actually. And do some shoulder stretches side to side. Come to forward fold one more time. Let your head hang. Maybe you can intertwine your fingers and also get a stretch in your shoulder. Nice. Let's try to come to Titivasana. Titivasana, we are going to place our hands right below our heels, uh, behind our heels, in like push up arm. So our hips can rest there. And then bring our arms up. Sorry, not arms up. I mean, bring our legs up. And it's pushing. From both sides, your leg pushes against your arm, your arm pushes against your thighs. Damn, I didn't get a cramp. I was almost cramping in my heel flexor. All right, let's do some Ashtanga. Ashtanga is all those interesting seated poses, which are really, really fun. I had a teacher who used to teach Ashtanga and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed her class mainly because I felt her turn up using the sensual average open up look behind you can come to a bind if you can yeah it, it was like a lot of binds and a lot of stretching and you know if you're flexible it's a little easier so I felt like I get to show off yet I was not working so hard it was like the best type of workout for me. Uh, but I think I, I learned quite a lot from her. So when you right leg, right hand up, you can try to use that as a labyrinth. Open your chest up, bind. Let's come to Komukhasana. Nice. Uh, if your left leg is on top, let's put right hand on top. Breathe in. Breathe out. <sighs> you should feel some release in your upper thighs and hips. Uh, let's change your legs and stack our knees on the other side. So in, the, in my case, my right leg is on top. Let's put left hand on top. Breathe in. Forward foot. <sighs> Lift up. Sometimes I wish, you know, these videos, they should age well because, you know, it's almost taken every day. We're gonna come to side plank. So, you know, maybe if I live till that point, but it's like 30 years from now, if I look at them, I shouldn't feel like, oh my God, what was this? Was I crazy? I should feel like, you know, oh wow, that was so cool. I was doing yoga every day, you know. Hopefully I'm, I was, I'm still doing yoga then every day. So yeah, we're in Vasistasana. And maybe you can open your 
like so. And then take it forward to come to yet one more. Full hand one. We are going to do Basis Rasana on the other side. I have not told you guys that uh, when I was three years old, um, I went to gymnasium with my aunt. And the instructor told me that my parents should enroll me to the gym, like be a gymnast. In retrospective, that would have been a fun thing to do. But no, they didn't enroll me in gymnastics. But, you know, I make it up by doing yoga. Then face forward and then let's come to a full Hanumanasana. I'm a little chatty today because it's Friday, not as stressed. Oh wow. So I could definitely feel I got much more open during yoga and could almost land on my butt cheek on this side as well. Nice. So that's why yoga is fun. You can see the changes like from your beginning session towards the end of the session. All right. Now we're gonna come to back bend. You can make it advanced if you want by changing side, meaning uh, right hand touching left heel and looking back. Oh, gently come out. And the other side as well, opposite heel, opposite hand, and lean back. Nice. Actually, didn't do any handstands. So I'm just gonna go to that without any prelude. to cool down we are going to cool down now come on our back Ouch. all right we are going to first come to um, bridge pose you can support a bridge if you want or not you can just come to regular bridge it doesn't matter whatever you feel like doing today or right now We're gonna do a full wheel. Ah, this is really nice. I feel good. We didn't do a lot of hip opening. We did some, but we didn't do any pigeons. So hold the figure four and Press your shin. Nice. Other side. Good job. And then just trying to see how long we have been working out. Pretty close to half an hour. Um, so yeah, we're gonna relax now. Uh, bring your legs up so we can do a supine twist supine twist I mean this side I didn't do well nice now supine twist on the other side now let's stretch your full body Come to your side. Come to 
the seated position. I have a request to all of you. Do give me feedback for the advanced classes. Are you able to do some of the advanced poses? Uh, would you want to learn if you're not being able to, if you want to want me to focus on like one particular pose? Let me know which pose you're you know curious to learn. I can dedicate like half a class for us to like kind of warm up to that pose and try to do that. It does work, like there are, those are called like workshops, so we can do some workshops if that's something you guys would want to try. All right, with that note, let's close our practice with a round of Om breathing. Om. Thank you, subscribe to my channel, see you tomorrow.